Hey guys, it's Holly. So recently I started watching Daredevil on Netflix for the first time. Cause you know, all of the rumors about Charlie Cox being in No Way Home, as well as Kingpin being the same actor as well from the Netflix show being in Hawkeye. So I was like, you know what? Let's try it out. And this show was a masterpiece. And while watching the entire thing, firstly, I love knowing more about Daredevil because I knew that Matt Murdock was a blind lawyer who like was Daredevil, but I didn't really know a lot about that. And after watching the show, I've just become obsessed and I finished season one and I was like, you know what? I really want to try and make Nelson and Murdock. So I finished the entire show now and instantly, as soon as I finished, I started building a Daredevil mock. Now my idea for this mock was basically to take some of the base plates that I bought off Bricks and Pieces and make Nelson and Murdock law firm as a sort of modular building that would fit in with like assembly square the police station the daily bugle and all of that and just as use as many of the pieces as i had as possible i wanted the street front to look like a modular much like the daily bugle has with like the gray the lamp posts all of like the tiles and everything like that that was my sort of plan and my thought was to do it on a 16 by 32 and kind of have it as like a skinny building and initially my plan for this was to do it similarly to how it is in the Netflix show. However, when I was like Googling reference images to try and see what the building actually looks like, I learned that it's actually an Easter egg as well in the Spider-Man PS4 game, which I had no clue about because I didn't really know much when I first played through the game years ago. So I ended up getting like reference images of both and the buildings were relatively similar. I feel like the color scheme and sort of slight differences in the architecture were really the only big differences. I knew that I really wanted to try and make the Nelson and Murdoch sign as well which is basically how I started and that was just my plan for the get-go. And I looked at a bunch of references and things like that of other modular buildings as well to try and get the widths and all of that and this is what I have currently got. So my main plan for this, you know, as usual, is to use as many of the pieces as I have and one piece that I had a ton of was these dark red masonry bricks and I feel like it was pretty close to the colour scheme of the Spider-Man PS4 building. It sort of looked a bit more red than it did orange and since I had a ton of these red bricks lying around I thought that was a great moment. So I tried to do like all of like the little gray lines and all of that in it and have some plates sort of moving it around. I tried to do as much of the modular street front as I could and I've just tried to get as much of it done as I could with the pieces. Like I need to swap out bits on the walls and all of these transparent blue bricks but I've just put them there now to sort of get the shape. I also need to get a lot of tiles to do the top as well as just sort of swap out a few bits here and there and even make myself the sign. So my current idea for the sign is to to get a two by three tile and then make my own sticker using a mixture of Adobe Illustrator and just sticker paper in general. It's not going to be sort of the Lego shiny sticker quality, but I feel like it'd be really cool if I can just make my own custom sticker. I also really want to make like a custom Wilson Fisk kingpin figure. I don't want to do sort of like the brick built bulky ones. Like I feel like I'd rather just make him more of a regular mini figure, even though I feel like the scale's slightly off. And that's sort of my plan. But what I did do in order to sort of just see how it would look and even make a thumbnail for this video was actually recreate this entire mock or at least like the front of it in Mecha Bricks so that I could render it out using Blender and just get an idea of what this will properly look like and I feel like that's my sort of plan moving forward. But before I sort of talk about what other directions I want to go for this mock, let's have a look at this thing up close. So here's what I've built up of the physical mock so far. And this is actually what I started with. And then I sort of moved it into Mecha Bricks. And as you can see, there's a lot of pieces sort of missing that I've just had to substitute for now. And just for sort of display purposes, I've added Daredevil to the front. But sort of here is the whole plan. I've also had to substitute this little lamp post. So I want to make this front look exactly like it does with an actual modular and have like the white here. Then completely tile it off as well as adding just some little studs here and there so I can pose minifigures. This lamp post ideally I would like to be white but I'll keep this light here black. I also want to get a 2 by 3 black tile and then make my own Nelson and Murdoch sticker in order to stick it on the front. I want to get one of those sort of panel doors like in the little Mecha Bricks version that I've done as well as just completely tile off the top with jumper plates as well as tiles. Just overall making it look a lot cleaner as well as adding an 
interior, some of the ideas that I had was maybe like a little couch or a reception area or a desk. I was thinking about adding a wall here to sort of build off the steps, which I accidentally just knocked over. But I feel like we never saw much of the base level of Nelson and Murdoch. Like I have a lot of ideas for the top of the offices, but here I feel like I'm just gonna make it up. I was thinking about adding some pot plants, maybe a little rug build, a fireplace even, but then I feel like I'd need a chimney. So I'm kind of leaning off that. But also you can see on the walls that I've currently just sort of filmed it in with dark gray bricks for the time being. I'm gonna get rid of them. I wanna have this entire thing be red. Not necessarily masonry brick red, but definitely dark red. And then at the back, I really want to have like a dumpster or some boxes, sort of like the bugle has at the back of that. I feel like that would look pretty cool. I definitely didn't want to put a door in here. I feel like I didn't need an exit door, but I would really love to try and do like a fire escape. But I feel like for this level, it is pretty basic. Like I liked having these little bits sort of extrude from the rest of the building. I thought that looks pretty cool as well as sort of having like a pole or a gutter. Like this whole front is really, I feel like more leaning towards the PlayStation 4 Nelson and Murdoch rather than the Netflix show which personally I I really like how this is turning out it's sort of a mix of both is what I'm trying to do here but it will be nice once I get the rest of the parts so I can actually put in the door and make the sign and all of that as well as just finish up the top and really get that interior done because I really plan to just sort of stick this in between some of the buildings I've made this entire side panel flat so that you can actually stick it in front of a building which would be great but yeah for this first level I really feel like it's just this front bit here that you sort of really want to see up close and personal and then on the next level that's where the interior sort of tries to play a bit more but after building this one thing I do want to do is sort of have some more interesting build techniques on the next level because I feel like this is very much just sort of bricks stacked on top of each other which for this level I think does work but I would like to sort of upgrade it so yeah, that's everything so far. So what I've actually done is gone into Mecha Bricks and sort of just plan what I want to do. So I've got the base level done. The next level I want to do is going to be the offices. Currently, my idea is to make it sort of tan and try and make it look like the show's interior is possible. I would like to ideally try and divide it up, but I don't know if I'm going to have space to do that with like such a tiny floor plan. But I feel like I'll try my best and actually get like desks in, even have like the little kitchen that they have in their office, which would be pretty cool. And then I feel like I'll leave it at two stories like I don't want to make this too tall because I don't know what I would put in sort of the third level unless I make Matt Murdock's apartment which technically doesn't make sense because it's in a different building but at least it would sort of fit in with like the daredevil theme and then I really want to have like some sort of open rooftop with like a staircase leading up so the characters can sort of peek over what my current plan is is to do something similar to the police station because I'd really like to try and get some cool build techniques and patterns on like the front of this building as sort of the levels go up. I feel like the first level is kind of a little bit basic, but you know, we can improve on that as I go along. But that is my entire Daredevil mock so far. I want to continue working on this and sort of show you guys my updates as I go along. I, like I said, I really want to do some stuff in the back alley of the streets as well. And one day I really want to attempt an Oscorp. I've sort of started playing with some ideas like that as well, but that one I feel like is going to be bigger and I think I have to do a lot more sort of pre-planning before I start that because I just don't have the colors and the bricks needed to make an Oscorp. So if you guys have any tips on what I could do for the interior of the base level please let me know and just any ideas really for what I could do with this mock remember it's gonna be a modular building and that's sort of the style that I'm going for with this I'm excited to get working on it like I feel really inspired to do a mock right now and I feel like a modular building is sort of simple enough that I'm probably gonna be able to complete it and be really proud of it but also sort of test my skills which should be really really good so if you guys enjoyed this mock and enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel as well and like I said please let me know any ideas that you have for this mock and interiors exteriors and things like that I would love to hear them and until next time guys I'll see you later